repeat last command so suppose i choose smart dimension and define the dimension okay now by chance i out of this dimension so again going to choose smart dimension better press enter key see if you press enter key even there is a option for a shortcut but enter key is more visible uh, more feasible for this and simply allocate the dimension suppose if you draw any circle and if you out of this circle then either you can press shortcut key c command or press directly enter see again it enters the last command mode see if you draw a rect rectangle you will out of this then press enter key and again this will you will be enter in the sketch mode so this is the things you can use repeat command even though there is one more here also one option so repeat last command you can do it from here also so this is one of the good tips now here the next tip is reference plane how you create a reference plane the simple way you can just drop down the menu of reference geometry click on plane and choose the things what you required but there is one more option just open the or uh, hide and show primary planes now see this is the our planes if you want to create any planes just press control key and click on the edges and drag and later you will put here dimensions and your plane is created is it is as simple as press control key click on the edges of any plane and drag see it's created this is that simple let's hide now even though if you want to choose mid plane so simply hold the control key or shift key and select two faces and directly go to plane and see it's automatically will be generate no need to go and select one by one like this so this is the simple tricks to create a immediate or reference plane in solid works now here the third tip is command search if you want to search any command and you don't know where it is located so simply go to this option and let's say i'll start to type c combine tool c o m c dynamically it will show you the things which is related to what you type combine now here if you saw combine tool you will see there is one i option if you click on the i option it will automatically open the location no need to do it yourself see i will not do it myself i will just simply click i see it's open see mouse automatically yellow red color see it's automatically open and it moves your cursor see it is not done by me it is done by now let me try one more uh, tool knit tool k n i t now see here knit tool surface knit surface if i'll click on the i button see it automatically open the location of knit surface so this is very important tips in solid works if you want to search any tool where it is located just type and click on i button it will show you where its location shortcut bars this are the very important things in solid works just press s key if you are on sketch mode just press s key and you will see this is your, your shortcut bar and now choose it whatever things you like to use and do it simply finish see even though if you are in part mode you can simply press s keyboard s in keyboard and you will get too many options which is going to perform so let's say extrude and click on the face and see it's ready for operation so shortcut s key is very important for 
sketch you can do it on sketch assembly parts and even on drawing it also works if you open too many documents or too many parts then you have to simply go to window and choose from here one by one but there is simple shortcut key press control tab see you can move and choose what you want control tab see there is simple way to shift yourself into particular parts either even though you can do it from here also now here the next trick is flat tree view see this all sketches is absorbed by a particular operation particular feature so you want to open it and saw it but there is one option right click go to tree display show flat tree view see all these sketches and features are separated now you can easily view and edit from here so this is called flat tree view see now here the next command is filtering the feature manager there are too many parts see too many things are here so if you want to find any particular feature or component so here one option you can simply type it let's say roller see is going to find you all the rollers and those part will be hidden and only visible only which part you want to search if you want to search any particular operation a uh, sketch a sketch feature so let's say double now see here double chamfer so double chamfer related all the things uh, parts are available here so this is the very important features filtering the feature manager now the next feature is collapse tree if you open too many things are here then difficult to uh, close one by one each and everything so simply uh, you can press shift c all collapse if you open all the if, if you are going to search too many things there is one more option right click here and click collapse item this is also way but uh, if the simple way is hold shift key and press c t key in keyboard it's collapse all the item so this is the simple way if you have too many parts you can use it the next trick is if you have too many parts you can for identification you can create a filter uh, folder just say i'll choose this two nuts right click add to new folder see nut now all the nuts will be inside so you will easily identify which parts available on your assembly this is where even though you can do it for same for the all operation all the parts right click add folder parts or something whatever name you 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 can give, give it see now you can easily identify <clears throat> what are the things and where it is located so it easy for the modification or for the operation here the next command is rotate about entity if suppose if you want to rotate this assembly in particular direction or particular axis so suppose i want to draw this one in uh, this uh, cylinder hole so press your mouse on the see hold your mouse middle button and rotate see is rotating about the particular axis or particular surface only see hold your mouse 
so you have to click on you next operation is zoom to fee suppose your assembly is missing somewhere just uh, double click middle mouse see is zoom to fix if it is missed somewhere else then there is one command press f key in keyboard see it come back to the zoom position this is the option preview just double click from middle mouse it back to zoom or press simply f come key in keyboard so this is the good way to navigate your part or your assembly custom normal tool if suppose we selected a, any one plane if you click right uh, normal to see this portion will comes out here but if you want to take in different position if you double click it will go move like this but if you want to choose different position with the reference of some this is the plane what we selected control key and select this one so this one we want to keep top so how it will looks like normal to see the second plane selected is top of this geometry and this will looks like now again if suppose i'll select this is our main plane uh, uh, which we selected for is sketch and control key select this one now this one will comes on top click normal to see those face comes on top in the same way if uh, you select this face and control this face this one will comes on top normal to see so this is the simple things you can create your normal to view in custom way zoom to selection there is one particular tool which can help to find a particular part if you have too many a large assembly and difficult to find particular number of parts so simply uh, click any of the part and you will find your zoom to selection click see those parts zoom press f zoom to fit suppose if i'll click this one and select zoom to selection see this will looks like so this is the simple way you can zoom or identify or uh, find out the particular a kind of, uh, any kind of parts in solid works assembly now the reference triad there are you can view the assembly or any part with the help of reference triad tool if you want to move this parts like first let's say hold shift key and uh, select any one let's say y see it will rotate 90 degree again i'll click see it's moving right 90 degree if z axis moving 90 degree if x axis moving 90 degree okay now if uh, there is one more thing if you press alt and click on this x see it will rotate 15 degree see it's going to rotate in a 15 degree y axis z axis see and if you press control and y then again the point see it will rotate 9 180 degree if you select x click on center see it's going to rotate on 180 degree z so this is the way of navigation you can rotate your model in many directions either 90 degree either 15 degree it's up to your convenience now the next option is instant sketch relation if you want to create a constraint in between these lines so instant directly click on the point no need to select this a line and this line hold shift key this line this line and click here tangent simply click on the point and click tangent see it's created even here also if we choose this one 
this one then you will find relations if you select this point only tangent see in the same way if you select this point you will find here tangent relation so this is the quick and easiest way to allocate constraint or uh, develop a relation between any two lines or any construction planes uh, construction lines now here the next trick box selection there is two types of selection right to left and left to right so what will happen if we click from right to left see it will select all the geometry why because the all the geometry going to intersect with this if you are going from left to right see there is only two circle comes inside other all are all three are half comes see it will select only two again just check if i am not going to select fully anything see it won't select so if you want to select this all things so you must cover all the things otherwise it will not select in left to right so this is very important thing while you you are going to create any sketch now the next tip is undo power trim suppose if you press left mouse and drag but by mistake you deleted many things so what we will what you will do you will just go back see you will see this red point just click go back to the red point and you will it, you must click on this see this is how we undo trim power trim by chance you delete this all then go back to the red point red point red point red point red point red point and see it is undo power trim so this is very useful tool while creating any geometry if you by mistake and deleted more than required so you can just simply go back to the red point and it will undo power trim now here dimension to tangency if you want to allocate if you are going to give any dimension it will looks like this okay now but if you want to give dimension outside to outsides just hold shift key click this one and select this one see it's going to give you outside dimension if we want to allocate dimension from this point to here so just click the point and hold shift key and see we are going to create a distance between these two things so these are the things you can create a dimension outer dimension tangent to tangent dimension this is very useful while creating geometry here if you have complicated sketch and you don't want to give uh, apply dimension one by one so there is one option you can take the dimension to all the edges simply click fully defined sketch here two options all entity sketch if you select selected entity if you choose one two three and if you click okay see it will allocate the dimension to particular things now you can change according to your requirement now but if you want to allocate dimension to all the geometry fully defined sketch click all the entity calculate now see it's define the all the dimension now you can directly click and change so this is the one of the way you can define the dimension to your sketch now the next tip is creating single line if you click line click then move your uh, cursor then click then move then click then move then click then move click then skip exit this is the one way the normal way we can create a line but if you want to create only single line so and many single lines so what you will do click line 
just click here and hold it don't leave your left mouse button then if you reach destination leave click hold leave now click on the point from where you want to start hold the mouse and leave where you want to finish your line see so in this way you can create too many lines single lines see if you apply simple normal way click 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 so this is the way you can create a single line rather than multiple line so this is very useful thing while creating a single line or line between point to point now if you want to allocate dimension to curve so there is simple way a smart dimension click this point this point and click arc see is going to allocate a arc dimension so this is the simple way you can allocate the dimension to a particular arc the bird the in the bird we can allocate angle to any particular geometry in a easy way this is the simple way you can allocate the angle but if you want to allocate angle to this point so click on the line select this point now you will see the bird you have to choose any one which angle you want to allocate so let's say i'll choose the bottom bird and you will see this is the angle you can choose in the similar way select this line and choose this point or this point whatever point you like but i'll choose this one you will see the bird and choose which line you want to allocate for angle so i'll select this one see this is how we allocate the angle to any line or geometry with the help of bird tool no need any extra geometry or any extra line this is very helpful tool in creating a sketch or any geometry in solid works now next trip is derived sketch now in opposite direction we want to create same sketch what we created here so we are not going to uh sketch geometry we will simply copy paste so i'll choose this sketch just rotate it press control key and select this face now here we want to paste it how you will do it derived sketch insert derived sketch now see but derived sketch we are not able to edit okay now simply go to extrude take it reverse direction okay now see in a simple way we created this derived sketch but if we change this one it will also automatically change see i'll choose this one edit let's say 80 mm enter if you refresh see it is also changed so this is the advantage of using derived sketch now here the next command is quick up to surface just go to choose the sketch extrude and what you will do just double click on the face see no need to here select up to surface then click here directly double click on the face it will work double click see it's extrude up to surface the next tip is hide and show component in assembly if you move your cursor any part press tab key in keyboard see it's hidden if i'll move my cursor here i'll press tab key it's hidden i'll move my cursor here tab key it's hidden now if you want to appear this one just hold shift key press tab key and place your mouse which part is hidden see see i'll see again if i'll move my cursor here press tab key it's hidden if i move my cursor here tab key hidden on, keep on the same place your cursor shift tab appeared my 
I'll keep my cursor near to the hidden part. Shift tab appear. So this is the way you can use the command and uh, hide and show your component in assembly. So these are the uh, 25 ticks, tips and tricks which is very useful in SOLIDWORKS. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.